So a lot of times in these old Baltimore City row homes and BC row homes, you're often getting this uh, lead. So these trims actually have lead paint on them. Now, it's not illegal or anything to rent a house with lead. In fact, if you're flipping the house, and you honestly don't really even have to get rid of it. But when you're renting it, you have to get what's called a lead safe certificate. Essentially, that is the minimum you can do to get it legally rented. The issue with the lead safe certificate, it's not expensive. You just have to repaint literally everything that's cracking. So I guess you could call that an expense, but the issue really comes in is every time the tenant moves out, you have to repaint everything. You cannot have any cracking paint in the house, which means this is the only lead paint I have in the house and something on the other side of the house has cracking or peeling paint, then I have to paint that. And so that's kind of the pain in the ass about, you know, renting a house with lead in it.